I have an interesting one here, and it's not so much about the crime. It's more about the uh, social aspects of it. But uh, so uh, Daquan Slaughter, strange last name to be paired with a crime already, uh, 23, get this, was sentenced to 25 years for CP for child photographs that are not okay, you know? Good. I, exactly. But why I'm highlighting this story right now is because how many times have we talked about on here when we see child uh, predators that are getting three years, that are getting four years, that are getting five years and getting out and 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 the the uh, reconviction rates. You mean reoffending? The, the reoffending rates are like upwards of 70 percent or more. Oh, it's more than 70 yeah, the last one I looked at, they're all over the place. There's no it, part of that issue that the the argument that's out there around predators is that um, most of them aren't honest, obviously, right? So they can never get a good statistical number around reoffenders, and because they're not going to come out and be like, "Oh yeah, I." I did it again. You know, I just didn't get caught. Nobody really knows what it is, but they know it's high enough where most of the uh, articles or um, papers or, or whatever can confidently show that it's above 70 percent. So um, we've just been calling for harsher accountability around these crimes and this is where we're starting to see it so this happened in illinois it said the case was involved in the illinois attorney general's internet crimes against children task force and the illinois state police um they had a warrant to search his house got in there and uh he got caught with a whole bunch of photos uh computer images and everything and they hit him with 25 years good i agree i think it's really good and i mean it's easy to just be like even with the story that you were just talking about it's easy to be like yeah i agree you know let's stick it to him but like the social implications are really important with these topics because the reason I talk about them is to try and make sure that it doesn't continue to happen, right? So in order for these things to change, there has to be change. And these little peddly little two, three-year sentences clearly weren't doing anything because the uh, the rates around predators were increasing, not decreasing. So to see a task force and a state and, uh, you know, the, the attorney general's office come in swinging with a 25 year sentence for photographs. I'm I'm really happy about. Me, too. It, it could. I think there I think a lot of people could look at this and be like, whoa, 25 years, a life sentence for uh, pictures. Yeah. But when you actually understand the probabilities of somebody that is even willing to engage in the type of activities that have to do with uh, pictures, child pictures in that way, the they are uh, taking part in a growing criminal underground of all things that involve children. Yeah. They're, they are co-signing abuse. They are literally engaged in it. They are. They are supporting it. It's not just pictures. It is not. No. The no. the places you have to go to to get those pictures. And it's not just pictures. The places you have to go to and how the pictures were taken. Like, dude, you know, it it's just it's uh, sick. It is. It is. It's disgusting. So on uh, on February 5th of 2024, Slaughter pleaded guilty to the charges against him. He honestly probably thought he was going to get one of those smaller sentences. I almost guarantee it, you know, for pleading guilty. Uh, just four days later, he was sentenced to 20. 
five years in prison. This sentence serves as a stark reminder of the severe consequences awaiting those who engage in such uh, abhorrent activities. It also underscores the commitment of law enforcement agencies to combat these crimes and ensure justice is served. We we need to stop the war on drugs completely and have a war on something like this. I, I don't think we should have a war on anything. <laughs> I don't. I don't. It just further continues the militarization of the police. And like, it, we need something different than that because, like, okay, if we did transition to a war on predators in this way, right? Um, while I support that focus on predators, I don't support militarization of police. So while you're going to catch probably more predators for sure, uh, how many other people are going to be wrongly convicted because of that? You know what I mean? There's going to be, there's, there's got to be a fair middle ground. You know how many people were wrongly convicted uh, because of the war on drugs? I get, I guarantee you it's an insurmountable, uncountable number. It has ruined our police in all areas, not just drug charges, in all charges. It's a dangerous thing to have your police militarized. Yeah. I don't agree with the militarization of police, but um, I just think there needs to be more done nationwide. Like you have certain jurisdictions that are local that really like that one, um, it's a county in Florida that they always are going after, you know, predators and trafficking people and stuff like that. And they're always posting their press conferences, like showing all the people that they've caught. Mm -hmm. Um, and they, they have some special task force or something that does it. Um, I just wish there was more of an effort nationwide instead of just like local to certain counties. Yeah, I agree with you. <clears throat> it says the story of Daquan Slaughter is a chilling reminder of the darker side of the digital age. As technology continues to evolve, it is crucial that society remains vigilant in protecting its most vulnerable members. The sentence handed down to Slaughter sends a clear message. Such heinous crimes will not be tolerated and will be met with the full force of the law. Bam. But I'm curious how you guys feel about it. Let me know what you think in the comments below.